Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Total Tank Generals. A pretty amazing war game. So let's begin. So we're going to play the Roma campaign in May 21st, 1940, Battle of Arras. May 1940. Despite lacking experience in commanding tank units, Erwin Rommel was appointed as the commander of the 7th Panzer Division, with which he has managed to force his way through the Ardennes, a region thought to be impossible to traverse with armoured units. This allowed him to circumvent the Maginot Line and continue his push to the west, eventually reaching the town of Arras. It was in this place the Allies would commence their fiercest attack on the Germans yet. If the British can successfully join forces with the French, the German army will find themselves trapped. Your task is not to let that happen at any cost. All right. So, we have three victory commissions. No, actually, we have to capture all major strategic points with the, within the turn limit. We have, I believe, 15 turns turn limit. And dep depending on within how many amount of turns we get it, that's the kind of victory we get. So we can get brilliant, major, and minor. So these are our units at the beginning. So first of all, the really cool thing about this game is that you can have multiple units per hex, which is quite important because some units like artillery can typically attack everything in a hex. So for example, with this artillery, I should be able to hit up all of these people at the same time. Actually, wait, is it this artillery? Maybe we need a slightly different artillery for this. Oh, let, let me actually check. There should be some information on that. Uh, okay, so not not this one. Sorry, there there is a different artillery that does allow you to do like a multi attack on the entire hex, and uh, but uh, typically all the units can only attack one unit per hex. But I think it's just such a really cool thing. I like I like the idea quite a lot. It's a little bit uh, different. At the beginning, what you want to do is you want to buy new units. So here we got our deployment. We got one thousand two hundred prestige, and this is the point where we can place our units. If later on you gain new points, you can place uh, other units there. So we're gonna start with artillery because I like it. So we're gonna grab some mortars. Yeah, here artillery strike. This unit strike is an attack. It attacks all units on targeted hex at once. Yeah. So this one didn't have it, but we're gonna get a mortar, and we're gonna get it. So we're gonna put the mortar up there. We could also get this. Just 7.5 cm artillery. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think I'm gonna grab it. I really like artillery. Um, I have 480 points left, so I'm gonna get what else can we get? We could get a tank here for 300. We'll be left with 180, which is a little too much for an infantry. Is there a way to better optimize our, our points? If I get cavalry for 270, I'll have 200. Oh no, let, let's get something for 320 and then we get 150 left, so that's okay. So we should get either this. Oh, but recon or anti air are both kind of eh. Not super big fan of those. Uh, I guess we'll just. So we're not going to optimize for points, but we're going to grab a tank and we're going to get ourselves a light infantry. And that's it. Alright, so we're pretty happy. With our reinforcements, so let's turn this off. Uh, if we had uh, in control an, um, an airport, we would be also able to use the Air Force missions, but because we don't have uh, we don't have any Air Force points, so we can't use it. I, I believe you need to control an... Uh, well, actually, we do have control of an airport. So we just don't have the points for it, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Don't care. All right, let's, uh, let's just start moving. So you have here your action points. And what this works is that in order to attack, it costs you one of these action points, um, one of them. But movements can sometimes take, take up only partial parts. For example, right now, if I move to here, it's only going to take partial things. So you want to be careful and make sure that um, you... It doesn't, there doesn't seem to be much penalty for like moving step by step, so it's a typically good idea to do that because you'll be able to 
you 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 will still have like action points left. For example, if, if you see the enemy from here, what device might move to here, then only then realize that you see them. Here we can hover over them and we can see what damage will do. So because this is attack from a distance and they can't hit back, we are gonna only do damage to them. As you can see on the right, that's their uh, HP. So it's their HP is ten. It's gonna get lowered by three, and then the the flag means morale. If their morale gets to zero, they'll start running away. And on my side, you can see that it lowers my action points and also lowers my ammunition. So I'm going to shoot and I have 60% chance to hit. I hit, so I succeeded. I can't, I could, I don't, can't really do much more anything with this thing. If I had enough points, I might be able to move, but uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case. We definitely want to be attacking this, this group unit because that's how we can do the most damage with all of our mortars. Uh, this is an infantry. I don't know what their distance for attack is. We could do with them an uh, assault attack. Switch is doing it into assault mode and we'll target target attacks and push the enemy out. So this will allow us to sort of step onto wherever they are. We can't do that right now. Uh, so we don't have enough action points, but if we did, we could set up our overwatch, which sometimes you want to do. But uh, we have anti-air, so I'm just going to move it, I think, a little bit closer. And we're not going to attack, we're just going to set up an overwatch here. Now our infantry is going to move this way. Won't have a shot, so we'll stick to overwatch. And our, re our recon should be able to attack from here. Uh, who do we want to attack the most? I think I'm going to focus on their infantry instead of their recon, I think, because they, they might be able to do more damage to us. Okay, we completely messed that up. I'm probably going to try... Yeah, I can't do anything, so we'll just wait here with this. Alright, more infantry. Move closer. Do nothing. This is a mortar, so we'll keep hitting them up. They're a big unit there. Great. You can do it twice. You can do it. We did a lot of damage there. Alright, more infantry. Just move ahead. And our beautiful tank here should be able to attack as well. Ooh, am I? Uh, I'm just short of the... Wait, am I? Oh no, I just need to move a step closer. So uh, let's just set it up to Overwatch then. Because moving closer would not be beneficial. Okay, we can hit up this infantry quite significantly. So let's do that. Great, great news. Alright, so they're already retreating because their morale is at zero, so you don't have to focus too much. I think there is a chance to um, rally. Actually, I'm not. I, I, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but I do believe that there's some small chance that they'll rally. But generally, if they're if they're um, if it's at zero, you don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, even if they came back, it would be very low for them, so we would be good. But let's keep moving. Uh, we'll set up an overwatch this time, and with this thing we want to move over here. And just get some shots in. We will gain more prestige points if you step onto a hex, I believe. We have some action points left. Here. Yeah. And here. You can see because they're slightly more highlighted. And that way you can tell that. We could also entrench ourselves. We're not going to do that here, but eventually we might move one infantry onto this hex and try to entrench them. You can see that no one is, uh, no, no text here is lighter than the others. That means that no one has any action point left. So we're just going to jump to next turn. We'll see what happens. So they are resupplying them. You can uh, get plus five of, of resupply if you just stand position. So, so they didn't actually run away, even though they have... Ooh, okay, so the resupplying puts their morale up. Okay, I see. Because in my test game, when I got them to zero, they just ran away. And it does say in the in the instructions that you should get their morale to to zero. But uh, I guess... I don't know. They, they resupplied, so... We're gonna have to drop them fully. So you can see, if I were to attack now, it would actually be pretty bad for me. So I would get minus five. So instead, we want to start with some... Uh, I want to start with my mortar units. The thing is, uh, oh, I can't attack here, it's too far. So I guess we'll have to... Wait, where, where's my mortar? Here. I think I want to just go here, though. Because I think... Yeah, I think it's the best. Because there, there are the most of them over here. 
and we can get them down and I think we're gonna be able to draw up most of these we have another mortar here okay so they're all retreating which is actually not so great because we have to move backwards at them I could attack this tank but it will hit me back What if I were to move hmm, any, anywhere I move, I'm just going to be out of options. I, I want to get rid of them because if they keep retreating, it's going to be kind of pointless to me. Uh, it, it's going to be bad for me, so I think I'm just going to try dropping them fully just to make sure that they can't. Oh, nice. This get minus one on their royal tank. We gotta start figuring out how we're gonna drop their tank. So this is minus two, minus two. Would we wanna try maybe the assault? No, the chances of that are zero, probably because it's across the river. So let's just do a normal shot. We'll take minus two, but they'll take minus two as well. And oh, we missed. Come on. Okay, I can do minus four and only minus one for me. And then you could do. You could drop them, great. So we dropped the tank. I need somebody also to move towards my uh, towards the the objective. Don't have movement for that there, but hmm. do we want to move with this guy? Oh, we, we can't get there anyway. So let's just attack this infantry in that case. Okay, we don't have any movements here. But we could... I'm going to keep attacking this infantry. I want to drop them if I can. And I can attack them three times, which is pretty cool. So I can do minus six in single turn. Well, if I were to hit, which I apparently can't, but... Well, we can only <laughs> hit them for one. It's kind of long. Uh, do we have a good chance? 40% chance of doing the successful assault, but it would hit me for two. I think we're not going to do that. I think we just go like regular attack. I think that's all I really need. Okay, let's hit. Oh, we can we can drop this infantry that's retreating. Ah, we didn't quite drop them. That's okay. That's okay. Um, minus two. Fifty percent chance. Let's give that a shot. We hit them pretty. Oh, we we did it. Great. Salt successful. And I'm going to grab this anti area and just put it on the objective simply so that we can gain. So we got 280 points and we can level up. So this is really cool because you can level up certain units. So this unit has anti airstrike and cannot assault. And we can give it, uh, oh, it can stay its overwatch, which is pretty good for anti air unit. Alternatively, we can increase accuracy or we can increase its defense. Um, I think. Probably the overwatch range is the best, considering that it's an anti-air unit. Let's move with this infantry and try to hit them up. Ooh, uh, if I try to do an assault, 67% chance is pretty good, I think, for an assault. Hmm. Assault failed. Alright. This anti-air is not particularly exciting, so let's just move it ahead just so we can see what's there. My recon will move in at them and attack. We keep missing them. <laughs> They're not even that strong. We're just bad. It's not even them. It's us. Which is really sad. Uh, can you? You can't hit them. You can get to them, but that's about it. Um, Alright, well, not enough action points. Do we want another unit? Specifically, I could get... Uh, I can't get, have enough for tanks, so we're just going to wait for the next turn, I think. Alright, so these guys are running away. We do want to think about eventually resupplying some of these weaker units, but because you can get plus 5, I want to get wait till I'm at least at 5. So this unit is at 7, so it would be potential for the future, but uh, I'll have to wait and see. So let's start with this tank. We could do minus 4. Great. And can't hit anybody else so we'll just move forward just so we can kind of see who's there okay. 
Let's move ahead and try to see... Minus one. We unfortunately can't see who is here because of the forest. But... It's okay. I'm, I'm, ooh, this is interesting. So this is a big... Oh, they have untied tank. Ooh. That hurts. So our first unit drop. I'm pretty glad that this tank survived. That was rough. Oh, let's just drop them. Alright, uh, our mortar... This is not... Oh, this is artillery. Mm. If I move ahead, I can only do one attack, but I think it's worth it because I need to start dropping this anti tank of theirs. Oh, well, it would have been better if I wasn't missing. Okay, but this guy can do a lot of damage if he hits. Oh, okay, we keep missing that anti tank, which is so sad. But I will at least move it forward so we get a better chance to hit next time. Let's move here and we'll hit this infantry. Not much of an attack, but better than nothing. If we move forward and hit them, I think we do. No, but this one has us more than them, so I guess we'll... But this might not have been the best move, because we actually have low HP. I should have healed myself, but that's okay. Um, what about this anti-air? I could drop this recon, so I'll do that. Keep missing, guys. Keep missing. I'll move forward, even though it means I only can only do one attack. Because I think... You know what, Let, let's go different. Let's start with this infantry and start finishing off these units, because otherwise they'll just get a hit at us, and I need to start focusing on the units over there. Seem to be much more uh, dangerous. Keep running away, which is not great. So I'll just get set up for Overwatch. This is a recon, so this won't be able to do much damage. Yeah. Even if it were to hit, which apparently it won't. Let's move like this. Okay, we can we can drop the recon. Keep missing. Keep missing. It's very sad. I have a chance to hit 80, so I'm gonna try to go there. Good. Alright. This tank could theoretically resupply itself, so I think I'm gonna do that. Just to get it to full. And this artillery, it has to move closer, because it won't have a shot. So let's just move as close as it can. So that we can get some good shots in the future. Alright, next turn. That anti tank is slightly worrying me because we got some tanks there ready to get hit. Which is not great. Yeah. So the anti air of ours, I could resupply that. And this unit also needs to be resupplied. Yeah, it's that already. Okay. But this I could resupply. And this tank as well. These guys also should probably get resupplied. And we're just going to start hitting this infantry. 60%. I have three attempts, so I'm just going to keep hitting. You can still hit if you don't have ammo, but your, um, I think the damage you do is getting lowered. Yeah, I think it's the damage, not the accuracy that gets lowered, so it should be fine. Again, if I move closer, I'm going to only be able to shoot one, so even though this is just 30% chance. You gotta try. Oh, the anti tank. No, I keep forgetting that it's there that's gonna hit us. But now it shouldn't have any Overwatch anymore. So now I think I should be able to attack. This is just a recon, though, so. We'll hit this one. And Overwatch, because everything else is a little too far. I overwatch with the anti-air as well. I think I might entrench myself there. I don't, I don't know if you want to necessarily move further because a lot of our other units are still kind of waiting around. Or sort of like too far away. So we need to make sure that 
we get everybody closer. Yeah, let's do our mortar attacks. Those are always the best, anyway. No, oh, they're all retreating! Don't do that! <laughs> they're retreating, I can't hit you. Just while well, they're doing it, obviously, but... I wanna move ahead so that I can... Oh, I still can't see them, okay. I'm gonna kill this unit. We have no ammo, so we're gonna need to resupply for ammo as well. I don't think Overwatch is, is it would be pointless here, so let's just move forward. Also, a lot of other units already have Overwatch, so. What did he throw at us? That was kind of interesting. Ooh, cavalry. Alright. Okay, so we hit them up with our Overwatch. A lot. Can we drop them with just Overwatch? Okay. Oh, so I think it this. That was interesting. Was it an entrenchment that did this little thing over there? I think it might have been. Alright, this unit needs to resupply definitely. And we need to drop their mortar, so because the mortars hurt quite a bit. If I move that way, they'll hit me, but if I move this way, it doesn't look like they will hit- Oh, they hit me anyways, okay. So in that case, we'll just... We'll just run away. Hmm. Well, let's start with the, with the mortar units, as always. We have 75% chance on hitting two on everybody. Yeah, so we'll do the bigger group. And I don't know if you saw, but the damage we're doing uh, was now lowered because of the... Uh, oh, because of having no ammo. Ooh, this is a huge amount of damage we could do here. If we were to hit. Okay. I'll move one step forward. I can drop this anti-air to zero, so let's do that. Great. And we'll fall back as well. If I move there, it will activate the overwatch. Right, first of all, let's resupply here. We know we want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's overwatch maybe. Have I used all of my mortars? Okay, I have another tank here that's at full strength. I'm gonna move here, even though it will let them hit me. Okay, they missed. And we'll hit this cavalry of theirs for four. Now here we can see some enemy units. I could drop their recon immediately. We'll do that. And I'm gonna start hitting their infantry regard because it, it shouldn't do too much damage to us and we should be able to drop them. Okay, great. I have infantry of mine with exactly five. So the question is, do we want to resupply or would we rather finish these guys? I think we need to... Oh, I can't resupply. Because I'm adjacent to enemies, so I might need to use somebody else to drop them. I'll move this tank ahead and hit them once. Great. That means now that this unit can resupply, which is exactly what we needed. And I am going to move one step closer with my anti-air and just kind of try to hit somebody. I'm not trying to do anything crazy, I just want to hit a bit of a hit. And I think we're gonna entrench. So it does seem like you entrench automatically, it's just as this increases the entrenchment apparently. Yeah, automatically built entrenchment when entering Overwatch. Oh, I can't seem to go into Overwatch, so. If I move closer, I will activate their Overwatch, which is not great.
think we'll just give ourselves some overwatch here. And this is the artillery, so we want to hit... It'll be 0 to 2. I'm going to try to hit here, even though we don't have the best shots. I would like to try. Oh, missed twice. And this little unit, this little infantry. I'm going to move it next to this tank and then set it up for overwatch. And we'll skip the actions here. Yeah, let's end the turn. Oh, I missed my tank. That's good. Is this their untank? No, this is just the medium tank. Okay, good. Oof, that tank hit me hard. That hurt a lot. Ooh, I love that they missed my anti-air unit. Um, ooh, I can do a lot of damage here. Let's do it. No, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought it was the minus seven on, on them, but I forgot that they're on the other side. I apologize. That was, that was very bad. Let's just run away. Hopefully we can resupply in the future. I mean, we did some pretty nice damage. So I'm not like completely upset about it, but it was clearly not the right move. Right, let's do this again and we can drop this thing fully. Great. Ooh, and we got a level up. So we get a chance to ignore rivers on this recon, increase our soft attack or max HP. So I didn't say that yet, but actually the game has soft and hard attacks and the soft attack is obviously an infantry. Hard attack is on the tanks. And the type of attack, which one is activated, will depend on your type of defense. So for example, here we have soft defense. So when anyone is attacking this infantry, it will be affected by the uh, by the type of attack, which is the uh, soft attack. And if we have a tank here, we're going to have hard defense. So here the enemy is being looked at this value, which is the hard attack. But I actually think that we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write now in the comments. And you can click on the right towards some other game that we put on this channel. See you there. Bye-bye.